come to Nashat to speak to Sister Amanda. I'll be going in to find out a bit more about her and the encounter with, that she had with David Lynn in Brixton. So, it looks like they offer a number of services here. Greetings, Sister Amanda. Thanks for having me and talk to you about this video that is doing the rounds on social media by David Lynn. It's entitled Nwapian's False Prophet, Dr. Malachi Z. York. Now, before we get into it, I just want you to introduce yourself so um, you can let our audience know who you are and what you do and how you came about um, doing this video as there are some very interesting points on it that I want to talk to you about. My name is Amanda Bailey. Um, I also have a tribal name which is Bastat Nafatat Ka Onku or what we would refer to as an ancient Egyptian order name. Um, I was actually in Brixton, um, I've got a small business in Brixton and I was on my way to get a hot drink. Uh, so as I'm walking I can hear someone saying that, um, you know, if you know, if you sin, you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn in hell, etc, etc. So my being my, just said, you know what, um, bro, brother, like, are you still teaching this information in this day and age? You mentioned that you have a business. What type of business is it? And what do you do? Okay, so I um, have a small factory in Nigeria and I produce African contemporary clothing and I have a little unit inside the market in Brixton. Um, so I'm co-founder of the store Nishat in Croydon and um, we sell wellness and organic products. Uh, we have um, African um, centered um, cultural books. Um, we, I also sell my African cultural garments here. Uh, we have a downstairs where we have an internet cafe. We have that space for hire. We also have a music studio to try and encourage young people to come in and then we were able to engage with them um, and talk about our culture, our way of life, etc. Yeah, like I said, I was on the way to go and get a hot drink and um, I could hear someone um, shouting or I could hear a loud voice speaking talking about sin and going to hell and burning in hell, etc. So as I came further down to the tube station, I saw, who happens to be David Lynn, um, speaking and I just said to him, are you still teaching that information in this day and age? You know, I um, said, we're in the information age now. You know, if you're going to teach people, you need to use um, factual information, you know. And he was also talking about homosexuals and also them going to hell and burning in hell's fire, etc. So I just, I just needed to say something, you know, just at least make people aware that the information or the Bible that he's speaking about, you can do a lot more investigation and find out what it's really referring to. Right, so you know part of the conversation he said that you sold my people into slavery. Um, so what do you have to say about that? Right, so I explained that one of my parents is from Nigeria and the other person, um, parent is from Jamaica and that's where he began to say that I, uh, my people sold, sold his people into slavery. So I explained that um, are you not the same people? Yeah, I explained that. One, we're, well, we're the same people. Uh, and secondly, um, there was a European invasion and there was an Arab invasion. So, who was selling out who? Before they arrived, our tribe leaders were selling them to where? So, the fact of the matter is that this slavery or kidnapping of people was done by outside invaders, outside of the continent. Yeah, so I, um, you know, further down into the video, around four minutes in, he says that he knows all about Nawabianism and the Holy Tablets and Dr. Malachi did York. In 1999, he prophesied that UFO was going to come and take Nawabians and he's a false prophet. So what do you have to say about that? Well, firstly, um, 
the information that our master teachers put out, Baba Yanun, is vast. I've been here for 20 plus years and I'm still learning. So I don't think he knows everything there is to know about what's been written by our master teacher. That's one. Secondly, in terms of UFOs, throughout the Bible, um, it talks about these crafts. It's funny that when in the Bible and it speaks about angels and angels so-called coming from heaven, they're not quick to say, oh, extraterrestrials, but anybody or anything not from this planet is extraterrestrial to this plane. All right, let's first talk about angels. Where do they come from? You know, because they they're not from this planet and they're so-called coming from heaven which is not on this planet so what does that make them and then obviously in Genesis it talks about something hovering above the water and also speaking in a third party then you have the book of Ezekiel you have uh, revelations the crystal city you have Daniel and possibly lots more where it's making reference to crafts um, coming in or into this atmosphere. There's a movie stroke documentary called The Fourth Kind where it explains about UFOs over Alaska. Recently the United States government had a conference to disclose the, uh, the fact that uh, UFOs exist. Okay, um, and what about the fact that he claims that Dr. York says he says he's a for, he's a prophet or a for prophet according to him? Well, the master teacher has never said that he's a prophet. Yes, he is able to prophesy, just like when the weatherman tells you what the weather's going to be like. We're quick to accept. Oh, okay. Well, you know. Well, they're they're right generally. Um, he's able to prophesy things ahead of its time in which he's been able to forewarn us about certain um, incidents to come. Hmm, um, okay, um, one thing he says, um, he says, oh, oh, around 6 minutes 32 seconds. You also believe that when he went to jail for having sex with minors, that was false too? Absolutely. Spot on false. No facts whatsoever. Um, first and foremost, uh, he was not charged with child molestation. He was charged with RICO, which is like a form of racketeering. And none, there was no evidence whatsoever of any pictures or any uh, DNA to support that this molestation um, occurred. And in fact, you have all those people involved that said this, recanting their stories. So it's something that, you know, I find David used to try and make a statement, but it's not true. I'm saying that there was no minors involved. Um, everyone involved in the case was over 18. Our master teacher has always taught, taught us to check out the facts. Um, so for those of you that are really interested in knowing the facts about the case, uh, the American judicial system has a portal, it's called PACER, whereby you can log on and read about the facts of the case yourself. Okay, uh, he repeated again, your people, I was with my people, and he sold them to the white man. Can I just say this, that we have to remember, ask yourselves, when we were in Africa, and we're getting on with our daily lives. It was the Red Cross and Europeans that came into Africa with a Bible. So what were we doing at that time? You know, again, slavery is something that was brought about through the, uh, the Arabs and the Europeans. We wasn't sending anyone overseas prior to their arrival so there you go yeah and he says it's not the white man that's the problem it's sin that's the problem okay so um part of the conversation was about sin so it's like why would god create a being 
um, that he knew, or did he know, that we were going to commit sin and then give us Jesus Christ to come and save us from those sins. If he is the all-knowing, um, then did he know that we were going to commit sin? And um, some, some of you might say, oh, but we had free will. But do we have free will? Because if we do commit sin, there's a consequence to those um, actions because you're going to hell. Jesus was not sent to the whole world or humanity um, because if you look in the Bible it says that he was sent unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel only. And he says black men that sold other black men, um, it was it was your it was your people that sold the black man that shot Malcolm X. Okay. There is good and bad in every race. However, again, I will repeat, it was the Europeans, it was the Arabs that came into our culture, our lands, came in onto our lands and started this tenuous uh, activity of kidnapping our people, yeah, and sending them taking them away, sending them to lands unknown to them. So COINTELPRO is a project um, led by the FBI to eliminate our, what they would call um, our black nationalist hate groups. Um, this is what they use to get rid of our leaders, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X and more. So, you know, it was mentioned that the master teacher, Dr. Malachi Z. York, was a warlock, he was a witch. He was possessed by witches and warlocks. And I'm like, but hold on a minute. When you're in church, supposedly catching the Holy Ghost, and people are foaming at the mouth, and they're throwing themselves on the floor, what do, what do you want to call that? And it, which looks quite disturbing. Wicca, if you look into it, Wicca and warlocks, is a practice by those said people that brought us Christianity, which is paganism. So, um, looking at the comments on on the video, um, there are three points in particular that I wanted you to address. One of them was that you're being, you're being, you are aggressive. Uh, the second one was that you're an angry black woman, <laughs> and the last one being that um, you know you're not very good at debating. And you didn't come with your tools. So I just wanted to know what your response is to those comments. Well, firstly, like I, uh, I think I mentioned, I was on my way to get a hot drink, so it was really not expected. Um, I obviously didn't know who I was speaking to, and I didn't know that I would obviously be on camera. Um, and, it, and the conversation pasted all over social media. But um, what it was for me is that, you know, the, the so-called David Lynn evangelist was still, you know, well, we deal with facts, we deal with truths, and they, and he wasn't talking that. So again, still leading our people down a road of someone is gonna come and save them from their sins, etc., etc. So I felt within my heart to actually say something. This is not really a competition, it's not a debate. I wanted to be able to reach at least to be able to know that there is the, the truth is out there basically you know I you know I might not be an academic in presenting you know chapter verse and quote however the sincerity of my heart was that my people um, you know who I love need to know the truth you know you must have grandparents I've got grandparents who've been waiting for Jesus for as long as I can remember you know, and it, that pains me in my heart to see that this information or this so-called story is being perpetuated in a way that it, that is incorrect. So, mm. what about the comments of you being aggressive and an angry black woman? <laughs> well, I'm passionate. You know, like I said, I love my people. You know, I'm passionate that this information gets out there to the world. You know, because. You know, we've been we've been deluded. We've been told incorrect information for far too long now, and it's time for truth. And finally, where can we find out more about about you and about you know what you teach and more information about your teacher? 
right here. Teacher. <laughs> right here at Nashat. Or you can visit nashat.co.uk. Um, or you can email us at nashatukstore at gmail.com. You know, um, there's going to be always someone here for you to converse with. Um, we also have classes online um, via Zoom or via Clubhouse. Um, the links can be found on the website, so that's nashat, N A S H A T dot co dot uk. Scroll right the way down and you'll see Clubhouse, you'll see the, zips of the link for Zoom. So come on board. Thank you so much for taking the time out to um, speak to me. You're welcome. We'll speak to you soon. Take care. Take care.